On January 23rd, 1909, the first flight of the Blériot 11 occurred over the skies of Paris. Six months later, it became the first plane to cross the English Channel. Louis Blériot founded his company to advance early aviation. Its funding came from profits from his invention of the first practical car headlamp. The company experimented with different aircraft layouts before their seventh attempt, which had only one wing. This was a radical idea for the time, as even the Wright brothers' planes had multiple wings. The next attempt, the eighth, developed the first modern control layout of hand-operated pitch and roll and foot-operated yaw. The ninth and tenth versions didn't fly, but the eleventh version used a lightweight engine and a propeller with an airfoil, similar to the Wright design. Integrated together, the Blériot 11 was capable of 45 mile an hour flight for 30 minutes, just far enough to attempt to cross it. When Blériot landed in England in 1909, he won $180,000 in prize money, sponsored by the Daily Mail. The crossing became known throughout the world, and aspiring aviators all wanted their own Blériot 11. More than 100 were made, making the Blériot 11 the most widely produced aircraft of its era. It also has the honor of being the oldest flyable aircraft in existence. There are restored airframes which are fully operational in both the United States and the United Kingdom. Not bad for a plane first flown 116 years ago.